Hi everyone, I'm Nathan from Crazy Amazing Designs. Timers have always been a super cool feature in ProPresenter. They're extremely useful for churches and conferences to help keep things on schedule. They can also be used to give those on stage critical time information at just a glance. With ProPresenter 7, we can now add timers to audience slides to create things like service start countdown timers inside of Pro 7. Let's look at another example of this. Let's say you're having a New Year's Eve party. Without ProPresenter 7, instead of creating a video in After Effects and rendering the whole thing out that is a timer counting to midnight, you would then have to sync that video to make sure that it lines up with actual midnight. This whole thing just becomes a mess. Now you can easily use the timer feature that lets you count down to a specific time in ProPresenter 7 and in seconds have a countdown on the screen for your New Year's Eve party. So let's open up the timers window inside of ProPresenter and take a look at the timers. Now you can see I've got a few set up here and I'm just going to go ahead and hit plus and on the left side you can change the name of the timer so timer sounds like a good name right? Um, on the left side here we can make it bigger and smaller minimizing it. There's three different timer options. We've got countdown timer, we've got countdown to time, and we've got elapsed time. So countdown timer. We're gonna set a duration, let's do like, you know, three seconds, and then we can reset it and we can hit start. With this overrun function, we can allow it to overrun that time. So reset it and then start it. And now when it hits zero, it's gonna turn into the negative numbers and start counting up. For a countdown to time, we can count down to a specific time. So for example, yep, we got nine hours and 34 minutes to midnight. And we can change the AM PM formatting and we can change the specific time numbers. Always have to reset it and then restart it. And the last one is elapsed time. Now this would be if you want to count from a specific time to a specific time. Now that we know how to create timers, let's look at how we can use them on both stage and audience displays. Props can be layered on top of anything. So when you add a timer to a prop layer, you can display it over any announcement slides or any other type of pre-service content. Let's go ahead and click on props. And now I've got one prop set up, so I'm just gonna click on it. And you can see that it adds a service starts time over my output. Even as these announcement slides keep playing, we can see that the prop stays on the top layer and keeps viewing. Now, a little pro tip for you. If you go to your first song, this prop is not gonna go away unless you click to clear it. So let's go to our first song, and I'm just gonna right click on the first slide and create a clear action to clear the prop. Now, when I click on this slide, it's gonna bring up the lyrics on my output window, but it's actually not gonna get rid of the uh, announcements. So I'm just gonna also right click Add action, clear media. So now when I click on it, let's go back to announcements. Let's turn our prop back on. When I click on our slide, it's going to get rid of the prop. It's going to get rid of the announcement slides and perfect. Now I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm just gonna go ahead and add a background. So let's do our test one more time. Turn on the prop layer, turn on the announcements. And when I go to raise a hallelujah, click on the first slide, off the screen. Pretty cool. Templates can have timers designed into them. If you watched my themes and templates video, then you probably agree with me that the ability to add timers into templates makes designing slides so much easier. Something I didn't mention in that video is that there is an entire theme folder dedicated to templates of timer designs. Let's go to themes, countdowns, and select edit. Now, once we're in the theme editor, we can see on the left side here, there's four pre-built templates. Now I really like this uh, circle one here and all you have to do once you apply one of these to your slides is click on it and go to timers and then change what timer this is being pointed to. We have already looked at a few practical places timers can be used. As a pre-service countdown timer on a New Year's Eve countdown to midnight, we can also use them on stage displays for things like video countdowns, displaying the worship set time remaining, and anything else that would let those on stage be more informed. Something cool I like to do with timers. For those of you who are using multi-tracks, if there is a song with a long intro and a worship leader wants to speak, we can create a timer to help band members know how long they have to welcome people to church or speak before that magical voice in their head dictates first, two, three, four. This only works if you're using Ableton Live or a multi-tracks app. The timer needs to be set up and automatically triggered via MIDI so that the time is correct each time. To set this up, I'm gonna change our stage display using an action. Now, our normal stage display is going to be current slide and text and maybe even the current slide notes and the next slide notes. 
but I'm gonna change it to a stage display slide with a timer and then any other information that you would like to put on here. So maybe it's the next slide text, maybe it's current slide text, maybe it's chords for the first slide, just so that they know where they're going. So I created a song intro timer and my intro time is 33 seconds and I'm gonna add that to my slide here. So when this stage display gets triggered, it will know that this is the correct timer to be looking at. We also have our standard, the pastors on stage teaching and the stage display screen shows them the remaining time. When it hits zero, it turns red and begins to count up. So to set this one up, I've got a timers built that's titled pastor timer, 35 minutes is their allotted teaching time. And on my stage display, I'm going to use an action to change it to this specific stage display. I've got a pastor timer, and you can see I've got it pointed to pastor timer, and you can change the font size. You can make this full screen and put any other information you'd like on it. Uh, some pastors want nothing else on it. Some want to see the current notes that are on the output. For my church, I actually have a second slide set up so that our pastor can see a screen preview of our main output as well as the pastor timer. Anytime that they are displaying a full screen image on the slide, I will change the stage display to this one. Timers can also be set up to display the remaining time left in a worship set, or at least the scheduled remaining time. For this one, I've got a timer set up called worship set, and again, my allotted time is 35 minutes. Now, I also realize that I have my pastor timer, which is 35 minutes, but I'm going to separate these because the stage display slides are looking at different things. This stage display configuration is specifically looking at worship set, time. The other one is specifically looking at sermon time. So I'm going to change my font size and change my uh, screen layout. Now on this one, I'm just going to assume that I've got a full screen for my worship set timer. So I'm not putting anything else on there. Pre-service timers are super useful for showing those in the audience or even online how long until the service begins. For this, I'm going to use a prop and we're just going to go hit edit. The other way to get here is to open the props editor. Now, I was really inspired earlier when we found that circle graphic in the themes editor from the built-in countdowns. So I'm gonna create a new prop and I'm gonna go to shape, I'm gonna go to ellipse, and I'm gonna make a giant circle on my screen. I'm hold down shift to keep the size constant. Cool, now I'm going to go to shape and I'm gonna change the fill color to black and I'm gonna add a stroke. Now I'm also gonna add a text and linked text, I'm gonna make this text actually a timer, and this timer is going to be service countdown. Now I can go ahead and change the formatting, and you can change the size and everything. So now when I go to show, I'm gonna open my announcement slides back up, and I'm gonna to go to props, and I'm going to oh, turn on my prop. And now you can see it's counting down to service start time. Now I realize this isn't gonna be extremely useful because we're trying to see these announcement slides and now we've got this giant circle on it. So if I go to my first song and I uh, turn on the prop again with this background, this kind of looks cool. Uh, maybe in this environment you could just put a motion background on it and then you can see it like that. So my next one back in the stage editor, this isn't really using a timer, but when a video is playing on an audience screen, I like to show it on the stage display also. Below the slide, I'll include a video timer so that those on stage can watch the video as well as see the remaining time. I do this to keep the band members from turning around and looking at the projector screens while the video is playing. So to set this up, we're going to create a screen preview, create a fill, screen preview, and I'm gonna make a video countdown text box by going to video countdown. So perfect, now we can apply this to the screen and anytime a video plays, I'll apply this stage display and those on stage will be able to watch it from here. I hope you found value in this video. If so, leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comments. And consider subscribing to the channel. If you do that, don't forget to tap the bell for notifications. Well, follow Crazy Amazing Designs on Instagram and Facebook to see church tech and production things regularly. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you again soon. Until next time.